In this lesson, we're going to look at how we implement uh, loads or, or load resistances in IC processes. For discrete processes, obviously we would just add a discrete resistor as a load, but in an IC, we don't do that. And particularly what we're going to do in ICs is to make what we call active loads. In other words, we're going to use devices or transistor devices as the load circuit. Okay, so looking at a common source amplifier, for instance, we would put our input on the gate, take our output off of the drain, and our source might be grounded or might be connected through a resistor to ground. But for a common emitter, input's on the gate, output's on the drain. Now we know that we have a current biasing the device and running through the resistance, the drain resistance. And this is for our resistive load. And we know that our gain formula for this amplifier is approximately equal to minus GM times RD, and of course we might include the load resistance of the transistor, or the output resistance of the transistor, but typically the output resistance of the transistor is much higher than RD, and so the parallel combination just yields RD. So for higher gain, obviously we have a couple of ways to increase the gain. One way would be to raise GM. But remember that our GM is equal to 2 times the drain current over the overdrive voltage. And so we could raise the GM by increasing the drain current. But that has a detrimental effect. And that is that the voltage drop across the resistance increases. And if that voltage drop gets too big, the transistor would leave saturation. Some of you might have seen this when designing your circuits for lab two. So we'd like to find another means where we don't have to worry so much about the voltage level and the transistor leaving saturation. So a second means, obviously, would be increase RD. But if we increase RD, we have the same problem. Increasing RD means VRD increases. And if it's too large, transistor might leave the saturation region. So we need to find an, another means in order to increase the resistance. One aside might be how do we implement a resistor in a CMOS, in an IC process? So typically, we use a high resistivity material
and we lay it out uh, just with pieces of this high resist resistivity uh, material uh, drawn in a serpentine-like structure. So you might take this high resistivity material and draw a serpentine structure where the input of the resistor is on one side of the serpentine and the output of the resistor is on the other. The drawback of this is that this, this shape can get very big. It can be much bigger than the size of the transistor. And so we'd like to avoid uh, using this because it costs money in an IC process. So to summarize, resistors are too big and cause large voltage drops. in an IC process, and so we're going to look at finding another means to implement the load for our amplifiers.